and I am back today with a new video. I am so excited for this video. I'm so excited to be back. I feel like I'm so inconsistent on here and I know you guys are like, girl, you always say that you're back, but I am back. I am doing good. I am doing great and I promise I'm going to try to be more consistent. It's hard though. It is really hard guys, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. Okay. So give me some credit. <sighs> So today's video is going to be all about my recent trip. Today is currently Friday and I just got back on Wednesday. And if you guys are wondering, if you can tell by the title, I went to Hawaii. Yes, I did, guys. I went to Hawaii and I had an amazing, 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 amazing experience. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a little bit of a tan going on. I was really in that sun. I was baking. I was grilling, okay? But I did remember to use my sunscreen, okay? So if you're not using sunscreen, that's a whole nother problem, and I suggest you guys fix it, okay? 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 So, if you guys want to know all about my trip to Hawaii, keep on watching. I have a lot to share with you guys, and I did tell you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and answer those for you, and... There's going to be little clips and nips and whips of all the great fun things that I did out there. So yeah, stay tuned. So just so you guys know, I did go to two different islands. I went to Maui and Oahu. Um, I am going to apologize in advance if I butcher the names. I think I'm saying them all right, but I don't know. It's really, really hard to pronounce these names, and I do want to apologize if I am getting them a little bit off. I will have everything written down below just so you guys can actually get the proper spelling and wording and pronunciation of these words. So I am going to start with Maui. Um, so just so you guys know, my trip was from the 24th to the 30th. Um, the 30th is when I left and I came back to New York on the 31st. So the 24th to the 27th, I was in Maui. And then from the 27th to the 30th, I was in Honolulu, which is on the island of Oahu. Moving on to the Airbnb, we did stay at two different Airbnbs and I'm actually going to just show you guys both of them at the same time. The first one that we stayed at was obviously in Maui. Maui's Airbnb was the best Airbnb I have ever stayed at. I am an avid Airbnb user. I don't remember the last time that I've stayed in a hotel. I think the last time that I stayed in a hotel was, 
I want to say three years ago when I went to Atlanta, either two or three years ago, I booked a hotel in Atlanta. But other than that, I am an avid Airbnb user. Um, and this was the best Airbnb I ever stayed at. This Airbnb had a total of four beds. So it was two beds in one room, a bed in another room, and there was a sofa bed. It had the best view, the best balcony I have ever seen, my guys. Like, oh my God. Like, seriously, the balcony, the view was gorgeous, out of this world. Our backyard was the beach. So literally, we would go downstairs and the backyard was the beach. On the beach, we were able to see turtles. Um, my, my photographer actually went snorkeling and she got to see fish. It was absolutely beautiful. They, it came with a pool. It had a jacuzzi. We grilled one night on there because it had a grill. It was the best Airbnb I've ever stayed at. And let me let, let me tell you guys, this Airbnb actually did not have any AC. Can y'all believe it? I stayed at an Airbnb in Hawaii that did not have any AC. I didn't know that it wasn't going to have any AC. I didn't check. I Honestly, I assumed that every Airbnb in Hawaii would have AC because it's hot. But it didn't have any AC. And the owner knew what he was doing because when I tell you it was perfect like I said we were right by the beach it was super windy so we were getting air all the windows were open and if you kept the balcony windows open I mean the balcony doors open you would get that air coming in and it was so windy that at night we would get a cold I would actually be cold at night so we didn't need any AC um and it worked out perfectly guys like I honestly have no complaints about it but if you are a person who feels like you just need your AC this might not be the Airbnb for you but other than that I would 800% recommend. Moving on to my Honolulu Airbnb. My Honolulu Airbnb was a lot smaller and it was a lot cheaper. It was a pretty simple Airbnb. It was in a hotel so it was just simple straight to the point not really anything too special. I am gonna be 180% honest with you, I wasn't a huge fan of the bathroom. I was just like not really feeling the bathroom like that. I love the mirror in the bathroom, but the actual like um, shower area was a little bit not my liking. It was a little rusty. It looked a little moldy in my opinion. Um, so I wasn't a huge fan of that. Another issue that I did have with this Airbnb is that we did, when upon entrance, we did find a roach crawling on the fridge and there was like another bug crawling on the floor one of the nights as well. Um, me and my friends were pretty down to earth. We're not like super like, oh no, I can't stay here no more, people. I ain't coming over here no more. I ain't saying hi. I ain't do nothing. I ain't doing, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing when I come over here. Oh, but... I was a little bit like, Ugh, I'm not a huge fan. Moving on to excursions, that was my favorite, favorite part. Most of the excursions that we did were actually in Maui. Maui is where I was living my best life. That is where I was on an adventure. I was on a journey. I was really trying to step out of my comfort zone. I am from New York City. Um, I am a city girl. I love my heels. I love my makeup. I love to have my mimosas. And I love to be a bougie little gal. And I really wanted to kind of like challenge myself to do things that I don't normally do to get my hands dirty to get my hair dirty to get my feet dirty you know and I really really did that in Maui if I didn't tell you guys already this trip was actually for my birthday my birthday was July 21st and we left July 24th so this was actually my birthday trip um so for my birthday this year I really wanted to step out of my comfort zone I really wanted to push myself and challenge myself so that is what I did specifically One. in Maui in regards to Maui itself Maui is beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful location I would totally recommend going out there with a group of people and really in go engaging in a lot of adventure, climbing, kayaking, horseback riding, all those things I would definitely recommend because Maui does not have much of a nightlife. Yes, 
Maui is definitely more of a chill surfer kind of vibe very very chill very very laid back there are some bars to just have a drink or two but it's definitely not a party area at all so if you are going out there i would definitely recommend to go out there with as many people as you possibly can because you guys are going to be the party you guys are going to be responsible for your own fun so you definitely want to make sure you're out with people that are gonna you know just have fun um any music that you want to hear you're going to be responsible for in maui i didn't even hear any pop music most of the music that i heard was um i would say country or rock so if you are looking for more top 40 or something like that you are going to have to play that on your own another thing i would recommend with maui is to rent a car uber out there is very expensive everything is very far from one another it is best to rent a car we actually did rent a car and we rented a jeep we drove it from the airport to our airbnb and we drove it the entire time we were in maui and it was absolutely perfect for us um i would not recommend using Air, uh, uber all the time because the uber is so expensive and it's literally just to go like 18 minutes away it's very very expensive i actually thought the uber there was more expensive than the uber in new york which is saying a lot okay that's a lot in terms of places that i did eat i ate at fund we had breakfast at fund and it was it was okay it was okay um i did have to add a little bit of salt and seasoning but it was okay um in general i personally feel like all the food in maui you have to add some salt some seasoning some hot sauce to it that is just my personal opinion we did also eat at a mexican restaurant called frida's that was personally my favorite restaurant in maui that we were able to eat at i felt like the food i didn't have to really add too much to it i also like mexican food so it kind of worked out perfectly another place that we ate at was called down the hatch down the Hatch is really popular. If you ask people to recommend you a place in Maui, especially Lahina, Maui, that is more than likely the place that they are going to recommend. It was good, but the drinks were ugh, gross. I'm not going to lie to you. The drinks were really, really bad, guys. They were so sour. I felt like, like nobody, none of my friends liked the drinks. So I would not recommend the drinks if you are going out there um, in uh, Down the Hatch, to be honest. All in all, Maui, like I said, is absolutely beautiful. I had a great time in Maui. But if I am going to go to Hawaii or if I'm going to recommend Hawaii to someone, I would definitely, definitely recommend doing Maui and also doing Honolulu. Honolulu was a lot of fun. thing that we did when we touched down to Honolulu was get something to eat we went to this place called top of Waikiki it's actually a rotating restaurant guys so it rotates and it's really really cool the drinks were good the food was so good over there swell season didn't have to add salt didn't have to have hot sauce or pepper or anything like that it was good on its own which I love because that's what you strive for when it comes to food you strive for food that you don't have to alter and I didn't have to alter to that food which was already a thumbs up for me um that night what did we do that night that night oh yes so that night we went to a hookah lounge it's called hookah hookah 
it is a great hookah lounge the hookah was really well put together nothing like the hookah in new york okay new york they just be like here and they toss you hookah and it has like aluminum foil on it this hookah was super nice super well put together the music was great they played nothing but hip-hop and top 40 it was amazing had a great time and then we also went to a nightclub called the district the district is a lot of fun a lot of people were recommending that nightclub to us and it was great guys we got pretty much at the district they played nothing but hip-hop and yeah nothing but hip-hop they didn't even play pop they only really played hip-hop and r&b out there we had so much fun the drinks were good the drinks were cheap the we i got a henny and cranberry for like ten dollars at the district if you're from new york then you know that ten dollars for henny and cranberry is really good okay because in new york you will definitely be paying like on a good day, $12. On a bad one, you could pay up to $17 for a hanging cranberry, okay? So that was really, really good. Day two, we went to a Lua, and the Lua was absolutely amazing, guys. <laughs> trip to Hawaii I had an amazing time I know you guys are tired of me saying amazing and good and rolling my eyes and clapping my hands but I really really did enjoy myself I have come back I feel so inspired I feel so blessed and I am ready and motivated and inspired to travel some more to check out other places and I really wanted to do this video because when I was researching about Hawaii I really didn't see a lot of people that went to Hawaii that were young that looked like they were trying to have fun and I really wanted to be that person to kind of share my experience about Hawaii with you guys amazing 11 out of 10 would recommend i hope you guys are able to go if you have any questions about how to plan your hawaii trip or any questions about what i wore to hawaii or anything like that please feel free to check me out on instagram instagram is the best place to reach me if you slide into my dms i am more than willing to answer any questions that you guys have and yeah that is pretty much it in regards to outfit details and all of that that will be on my blog as well as my Instagram, I tagged all the outfits that I wore while I was in Hawaii. So if you guys have any questions, all the links and stuff will be in my blog. And you can also slide into my DMs. And not last but not least, uh, I cannot speak today. Sorry for stuttering. But last but not least, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I am promising you guys I'm going to be a little bit more consistent. I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get my ish together, okay? But I, I need y'all to subscribe. I need y'all to be there for me, okay? Give me, give me that push. Give me that push. All right, so yeah, I will see you guys next time in my next video, which will not be months from now. I promise, I promise, I promise it won't be months from now. So see you guys.